Pulse oximeters are in high demand. The device tells you the oxygen level in your blood, and that can help pick up an asymptomatic case of COVID early. But lots of fake oximeters are spraying up on the market. We spoke to one man who accidentally bought fake gadgets from social media ads. He realized his misfortune when the devices found a pulse on his daughter's stuffed toy. Pulse oximeters can help you monitor your health and prevent silent hypoxia, a symptom of COVID. Mr. Jun was outraged when the oximeters he bought online found a pulse and blood oxygen reading for his daughter's cuddly sheep. I wondered if it was possessed by a ghost, he said. I bought three oximeters and tested them all on the stuffed animal, and all three gave readings. I looked in the packaging and it had a user manual and a quality certificate. It's so preposterous. We tested the same Chinese-built device for ourselves. Absolutely everything that we could clip it to, including hands, toys, even wallets, gave a reading. Then we compared it to a made-in-Taiwan oximeter bought in a pharmacy. We clipped one onto each of the sheep's ears. The Taiwan device gave no results and no blood pressure reading. The fake gadget first proclaimed blood oxygen at 98 percent and then started rising. What if I had given one of these to a family member, and if they kept it at home and they were about to die, but the thing said their oxygen level was still normal? What you must verify is that it has a Taiwan Ministry of Health and Welfare serial code on it, or a permit issued by the Taiwanese government. If it's a medical device that has passed inspections in Taiwan, it has to have that serial number. The price of the product can also indicate its reliability. A proper oximeter costs at least 3,000 NT. The objects selling online for a few hundred dollars are mostly fake. If you're concerned about an oximeter in your possession, start with a test on your cuddly toys.